Yo, Eric, we're over here on the paranormal hunt, and I headed over to this other building, and it's number 13. I was just telling my, my God. Welcome, everybody. Welcome today. No green screen, no nothing. I'm upstairs. Got my little pet, little uh, speaker. And it's just me and you today. Just you and I. All right? So, guys, I do have my reading cards. So, if anybody who's today wants to um, donate to the channel, I will give you a reading. Now, the reading today is going to be a little different. Instead of picking colors, I separated all four cards. One's called activity, one's called inspiration, and one card set is guidance, and the other card is affirmation. And affirmation is, I am confident, I am powerful, I am strong, I am getting better and better every day. So that's what this card is. So whoever today wants to uh, donate to the channel, I will give you a reading. Or if you want to buy somebody a reading, go for it. It's just, you know, it's a way of trying to raise money for the channel and, and you get something out of it. Well, I hope you get something out of it because, you know, I'm not here to say I'm a, I'm a true Jedi. I'm a, I'm a true Sith Jedi. I'm the gray. I'm the one in the middle. All right. I'm the one in the middle. All right, today's topic. Let's talk about today's topic. Does TV affect your view of the world? That's the topic. Does TV affect your view of the world? Kind of a simple kind of a question in a way. Is your view of the world basically TV? Does the TV affect the way you think, the way you look at in the world? Now, you got to remember, there's no right or wrong answer into this. This is everybody's perspective into what they believe, you know, how TV affects you in the world. It's, 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 it, there's not one guarantee answer. It's just the way, it's whatever you, know, you think. But now I do have a web page. Uh, let me bring it up here. Let me bring it up here. Now, does TV affect your view of the world? Now, I can't even talk today. Salvation research has identified several, several. Oh, hold on a second. There it is. Let me make it bigger for you. Oh, my flock, my flock. Uh, you did do a donation. So, I guess the first question I would ask before I get into this topic is Do you want the reading? Or do you want to give the reading to somebody else? And the four cards that I have, I'm going to write it right here. Just so everybody knows, I'm going to write it right here. Guidance. Confirmation. And, uh, hold on a second. Inspir inspiration. And activity. Okay. So... So my flock, since you donated to the channel, out of that four, where would you want your card to be pulled from? Or are you giving it to somebody else? So just let me know. Just uh, let me know uh, if you want the card for yourself. And anybody donates to the channel, I will give you a reading, and then we'll get back, back to the topic. So so my flock, just uh, pick pick a card. And um, we go. So let me see here. Did she pick a card yet? Actually, let me drop over to YouTube here for a second. Um, Angel Wings. Let me see here. 
I sent that email finally. I found your email. Fi oh, ain't, ain't going. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, anybody, uh, Paranormal Highway, if anybody ever wants to send me an email, just remember hi uh, paranormalhighway13 at gmail.com. That's, uh, that's my um, email address. So my fault. Give it to the first floor, please. Okay, first floor, Lee. So Lee, my flock donated to the channel, and she wants to give you the card reading. So, so Lee, do you want a card from the guidance, affirmation, inspiration, or activity? So Lee, you tell me where you want the card to be pulled from. Now that. So hopefully, hopefully, um, so hopefully Lee's listening. <laughs> I know sometimes, you know, we put things on, we got so many things going on, right? You got so many things on it and you're not always hearing everything that you hear. Oh, what? Oh, oh thanks, sir. Uh, Lee, Lee, uh, off, um, my flock donated to the channel and she's giving you the choice of a card. So, so the choice of the cards that you can pull from Lee is, is one of the four choices, guidance, affirmation, inspiration, or activity. So you just pick one of those and we'll be doing it. Well, I'll give you a card reading. So Paranormal, I'm getting ready for my show. <laughs> Are you getting ready for your show? Okay. Okay. If you're getting ready for a show, then you're getting, that means you're getting active. So I'm going to give you a card from an activity for you, Lee. And this will get you ready for your own show. All right. All right. This is the, this is, uh, you got Anna again and his, mm, got his little woman about to kiss. Here we go, Lee, because you're getting ready. So this is activity for you, Lee. Think of someone you care about and make the effort to remind them that you are there for them. Take the time to write them a letter by hand and mail it to them. They will appreciate the unexpected gift. Okay, Lee, you pick a person that you care about. Okay, so so Lee, pretend that I'm that person that you care about. Oh, you want the inspiration card? Oh, okay, uh, okay. Hey, hey, get that card back. All right, this is inspiration. I'm sorry about that. You got Luke Skywalker here. Inspiration. No, no, no. No, 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 Lee. You want this card? You got this card. You, your eyes can deceive you if you don't trust them. There are many ways to interpret a situation. Look at it from all angles before you draw a conclusion. Okay, Lee. So basically, before maybe you hear something you don't like or you don't understand something or you confused about something, try to look at it at all four different views from different points of views. Try to get that perspective where maybe somebody says to you, I don't know why they would say this to you, but for example, Lee, for example, if somebody goes, Lee, I don't really like that song you sang. You sit back and say, okay, is it me? Is it the words? Is it, you know, why did you not like the song? And, you know, she might say, well, you know, you know, I don't like that the original singer or something, or, you know, just something. Look at it all different perspective, point of view. And then, you know, you're going to be better for it. You're, you know, maybe they didn't like the lyric or something or something you want to change. And, you know, just remember, just listen to everybody. But we all know everybody loves your music. Everybody loves the way you sing. So you probably never, you never get that. <laughs> but if you do, I guess you listen to the all perspective, you know, <laughs> you'd be a better person. I like this. I give no Fs. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> so basically, guys, whoever donates to the channel, uh, you will get a reading from me. So anybody wants to listen to the channel. Now let's go back to uh, this right here. Let's go back to this. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see here. 
Research has identified several uh, mispresentations on television. It has shown that more people watch television. The more their beliefs correspond to the television world. In recent years, ex experimental research has demonstrated that fictional narratives are powerful means to change audience beliefs. Theories on the narrative structure of uh, fictional narratives and disposition-based theories of media enjoyment suggest that telev uh, televised fictional narratives tend to portray the world as just place. We propose that the amount of fiction watched on television predicts the beliefs in, in a just world. Further, we assume this effect... Ah, uh, fuck all that. Fuck all that. Let's be honest here. Okay, fuck all that. Fuck all that. T I think TV is, is becoming less important by the day, by the month, by the year. And what I mean is because we have so many different ways that we, re we receive information, the TV is not the only place anymore that you get that information. Now, remember, this is all my perspective. You guys all might have a different perspective. Before the social media world, you know, back in the day, the only form of information that you really get are two places, right? From books and TV, right? We couldn't, we didn't, you know, we couldn't talk to different people from around the world as we can now. If you did, you're going to have a big ass phone bill, you know, back in the day. So the only information that you got back in the day was a TV or through a book. But then even books, the books the information you're getting from the books is whatever that author is writing to want you to believe, want you to think. And TV, you know, you're getting your news on TV is whatever that station wants you to hear. And you didn't really, you know, think about it. If you had no YouTube, no Facebooks, none of that, and you just go back to TV, even to still today, you know, if you think of uh, a, a few uh, uh, main news channels, you know, you got your CNN, you got your Fox, you got your MSNBC. It's not like you got a thousand news channels. You still only got a selected few news channels. So you're still getting your information from corporations or groups, whatever they want you to believe. So I feel that TV has been uh, uh, less, getting less and less where you rely on TV. I use TV as entertainment. I want, I, I use TV entertainment. I watch my YouTube on TV. TV for me is entertainment. And there was a time that, I mean, there still is. There, there is still a lot of people who, um, we, I know TV is a fantasy world. All right. I know when I watch a show, they're actors. I could cross that out. I know all because I'm watching a, a sci-fi show. It doesn't exactly mean that UFOs, aliens exist. I know they do, but TV is not the thing that convinces me. So, but there are people who are easily brainwashed on whatever they watch, whatever that director want you to know. Happy birthday, Brown Dwarf. Holy smack. Brown Dwarf, since it's your birthday, Brown Dwarf, it's your birthday. You get to pick a card. Activity, inspiration, guidance, affirmation. So, Brown Dwarf, you give me the card you want, and I'll give you a reading. So, the choices are, Brown Dwarf, is affirmation, guidance, inspiration, and activity. So you pick, my friend. You pick, my friend. And let me get it here. So Brown Dwarf, you pick what card you want, and that's the card you're going to get. So, so going back to, so I feel that now because we live in the world 
Uh, let me see here. Hold on a second. Spook, uh, uh, I don't want to miss people because today is more of an open mic type of show. The reason when they called them TV programs, yeah, TV programs, and whatever the way that a director wants you to think a certain way, and you know, there's directors that take a belief, they believe in the real world, and they do add it in TV. But you just got to be smarter than that. You got to be smarter for yourself to realize what's fantasy, what's real, and what they want you to believe. You got to. I always say you got to be strong enough person to want to um, make your own decision in life and don't base everything that you hear. If you don't research whatever it is, then I mean, then I'm sorry. Sorry. So Brown Dwarf, have you picked a card yet? My friend, have you picked your card yet? Just let me know what card you want. And that's the card you're going to get, my friend. Let me see here. They're trying to program you. Won't happen to me. Laugh out loud. All fake for entertainment. Well, you know, Angel Wings, you know, it's just, you got to tell yourself it's entertainment. It's entertainment. You know, it's, and yes, there are directors and writers who put their views of the world into their own entertainment, but it doesn't mean they're right or wrong. It's still perspective, you know, it's, it's whatever you want. And, you know, and, and guys, and guys, and guys, don't get me wrong. Okay. Don't get me wrong here. It, it, it doesn't mean that you're going to get the truth from YouTube, Facebook, Reddit, you know, even though there's more social media, you, you still have what I call, you know, gatekeepers, TV is the gatekeepers are the corporation owns those TV news channels. You know, there's people, there's people on YouTube are gatekeepers, you know, and, and a lot of different ways In a lot of different ways. We all heard stories of cults, you know, all the cults out there because people are easily brainwashed. There's people who um, want to be told what to think. There are there are those people who want you to tell them what on, on the way you should think. There are. And, uh, and TV is, YouTube is no different. You got those gatekeepers. You got them there. So Brown Dwarf, did you uh, pick your card out? What did you wrote? So Brown Dwarf, you pick you pick a card. I'm gonna give you a birthday read. Oh, confirmation. Confirmation. Uh confirmation. Well, I have activity, guidance, offer oh, affirmation. All right. Affirmation. Now, guys, it's it is it is um Brown Dwarf's birthday. So my flock donated to the channel and bought Brown Dwarf a reading. So you got, God damn, what's her name? She's in The Last Jedi, which is the worst Star Wars movies ever made. Just saying. All right, here we go. I am optimistic. When everything seems lost, I never lose sight of what's really important. I always fight to save the things I love. Brown Dwarf, I'm, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm just going to say this. This is such an awesome birthday card. It, it, it truly is a, an awesome birthday card because knowing you that I know you, you are optimistic. You are out there searching for the truth. You're searching for, you know, you are out there listening to see if you can find proof of the Bigfoot, not just for the public, for yourself, UFOs for yourself. You're out there to, to see the ghosts are real for yourself. And there's going to be times, you know this, Brown Dwarf, there are going to be times you go out and do your research, you're going to find nothing. You know that, and I know that. Anybody who researches know that all because you're going out on investigation, it doesn't mean you're guaranteed to find something. We know a lot of times you're, you're not. But don't lose sight what's really important to, to, to find the truth for yourself. And, and always fight to save the thing you love. You love the research. I know it. You love the research. 
not everything's going to go your way. Not everything you're going to find on every research that you do. But don't give up. Keep fighting. And happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday. Hope hope that card is is good for you. Because, I, I, you know, uh, always be optimistic. When you uh, talk about anything in the field of this, it is about being optimistic. Right? You want to be optimistic. So be optimistic and go for it. So if anybody else wants to uh, donate to the channel, you can donate to the channel. I'll give you a reading out of the four cards, or you could donate and give your reading to somebody else. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to uh, fuck. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> what we're saying. All right, let's go back. You know, uh, t does TV affect the view of the world? Does YouTube affect on the way to view in the world? And well, you have to say yes. There are people who do get affected by social media and network. And I mean, everybody is, I mean, my God, you go to a doctor's office, sit down, everybody's looking at their phones. Everybody is looking at information and, and you know, there's, there's so many people. There's so many people that I don't, I hate to say it. They want to be told on how to think it is. It's, 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 it's really sad that people want to be told because, you know, you sit there, right? And all of you know, I, I don't have to come out and tell you guys some of these YouTube channels that all they do is shit on people. I don't have to do that. You know that. And all they do is is they they make fun of other channels. They uh, they, they they start calling other channels fake. You know, your, your investigations are fake. You know, there's there's so many, there's so many, all those channels, and, and and the thing is about a lot of these channels, they know you're not fake, but they they try to put these thoughts in your heads to hate a lot of these other channels and to only like them. So all because you're on YouTube, YouTube is no better than TV itself, where you watch the news, they want to influence you to think one way, they want you to think that that this group is bad, that group is bad. Don't get me wrong. YouTube has it too. People on Reddit. You know, it's it's gatekeepers are the modern day cults. You know what I mean? They are the modern day cults of this world. They they want you to think what they think. And it's just so weird because I watch these channels just talk crap about people. And I and, and the funny thing is, they get all these donations because people like fights, people like arguments. It's so weird, you know. I was getting this uh, 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 I was getting this email from this one guy, and I actually had to um, ban him from a, from an email. I actually had to ban this person. Because he kept asking me, kept like emailing me, he kept asking me, hey, what do you think of this goof on guy? Keep emailing me. What do you think of this goof on guy? I, I don't know. I don't have any thoughts on goof on. And he emails me back and goes, well, you do UFO shows, don't you? Yeah, I do shows with UFOs. Well, then you must know who he is. Dude. Or you must have thoughts of this person. Dude, I don't watch some of these people. And this guy kept naming off all these UFO channels that I, I don't watch. That I don't watch. And I go, dude, I don't even know who you're talking about. And 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 then and he's like, well, then you don't know shit about UFOs. I'm serious. This guy wrote this email. I don't know shit about C So I have to know certain channels to know. About UFOs? I mean, are, are we talking the same page? Are, are we talking about where half the world don't even believe they exist? Half the world don't believe that, that Bigfoot exists? Half the world doesn't believe that the paranormal exists? But for me to tell you guys that I believe in something, I have to, I have to um, watch these certain channels? Blow it out your ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna 
I don't have to watch any channels that I don't want to. Just so I can I can uh be considered the real deal. There is no real deals. You know, I said this before, a lot of times, even investigation, it's all luck. You know, and I go, dude, how can I say something about a, a, a person that I don't? Then I found out that this person is a, a, a um, he's a, a, I found out from somebody that this person is emailing me is a regular uh, subscriber of this other channel. And what he was trying to do is rope me in into a war. He was, he was just like trying to bait me for me to say something negative about these channels to rope me in to start this war because I, I and I'm not, I'm not accusing of, of, of these other channels doing this, telling their people to do this on purpose. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't tell you that, but this person was trying to rope me in into a war with another channel that I don't watch. I don't watch. And so I'm not going to make a reference about these other channels, the channels that I don't watch. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, it's just so, it's, it's, it's so crazy. Because I, I, when I mentioned this name to, a, to another friend, he's like, oh, that person is, is, is this. He's got a wrench in his channel. So, and, and that's, just, that's, just, that's what's sad, you know, just like TV. TV is a world that they try to, you know, the news channel, they want to, you know, listen, let's be honest. Fox is Republicans and uh, CNN is Democrats. You watch both those channels, they want to wrap you in to believe one side. And YouTube does that and YouTube, and, and sometimes it's not even the uh, host of the channels are doing this. Sometimes people want to see channels fight. It's just so sad. I, I just, I just don't, I just don't understand. I don't have time to do battles with channels. I don't care. You know, I, I, there's channels that I like, I watch. Okay. There's channels that I like, I watch. And if another channel doesn't like me, cool. Awesome. You don't have to like me. That's fine. But all because you don't like me doesn't mean, well, well, I'm going to talk crap about you. If you don't like a channel, you don't like a channel. But that's what I'm saying. You don't So don't think that TV is the only source of evilness. You see it on YouTube all the time. People want to be gatekeepers. They, they, they want to control the content. They want everybody to know that their content is real. And to me, it's just like, why? <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow, my flock, thank you so much. Are you uh, giving your, um, are you, um, do you want a reading or you want to give your reading to somebody else? Just let me know. So guys, just remember, be positive in your own life. When other channels talk bad about other channels and you're there, you should say, hey, dude, you shouldn't do that. I know, I know it's hard because you. Just, what happens is they'll just ban you, but and because there, there, there are people for Jim. All right, Jim. So, Jim, uh, my flock bought you a, a reading. So, Jim, would you want a reading from the activity card? Jim, would you want a reading from inspiration? Would you want a reading from guidance or affirmation? So, one for Angel, one for Jim. So Angel, Jim, you guys tell me what card uh, you guys want, and I'll give you the card. So so guys, so let so when they pick out their card, um, I'll do it. So guys, try not to get roped into other other people's um, uh, other people's. Crap, because you know, because it's, and, and it's not just the host. There's there's people in the chats that that want to create these wars too, and I've seen it all the time. So don't get yourself wrapped into it. Be positive, because guys, there's enough information in this world that we can all share. 
there's a lot of great information. Angel Wings, I put Ron, it puts Rob all the time. So I just have an issue when someone tells a group of people that they had to shoot a dog man 400 times and didn't stun it. These people don't need to be told that so they so they are scared to go into the woods. Hold on. I just have an issue when someone tells a group of people that they had they had the shoot. And you know what? I, I don't know these groups. I can't I don't know who they are, but I, I bet you they'd never even seen a dog man or shot a dog man or stun it. Because why would you why would you brag to about about shooting an animal? About shooting a Bigfoot. You know, I mean, you know, so uh, my tiny corner of YouTube, my next music show tonight, 6 p.m. Um, p.m. And, and there you go. OK, here we go. Beyond Jim Skin wants the activity card. All right, Jim. All right, Jim. Let's give you the activity card. You got Ray. Look at that. Now, you don't get Ray, but you got a card with Ray's picture on it, Jim. So don't think that my gift to you with this card is, is Ray herself. You don't want to get in trouble with the Me Too movement. Uh, just joking. Find your focus. The world around us is full of constant distractions. Go to a quiet spot, sit in silence, close your eyes, and breathe. Find the peace within yourself. That is, that's an awesome card. That is an awesome card, Jim, because we, just like for the topic of the show today, we, we live in a world of constant distractions. We live in that world. My God, you put on the news, it's negative, 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 negative. There's shootings in your neighborhood, people getting killed, wars. I mean, there's just so much freaking negativity. Just like we're talking on YouTube, gatekeepers, everybody. There's just so many goddamn constant distractions. And sometimes you do need to sit back and relax. And breathe. If it's through meditation, then meditate. You know, um, and I'm not just saying this just to say this. When I want to escape the world, I want to escape things. I like going to First Floor Audio Channel. And I'm not saying this just because I, I, uh, because I feel he's a friend. He plays music. I love music. When you get, you know, you know what I mean, Jim? Sit back and listen to this man. Just loving what he does. Loving playing music. It's soothing. I, 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 I've, I've told people this all the time. I am not, I, I hate to say that. I'm not really an Elton, Elton John fan. I'm not. I don't, I don't dislike Elton John. I'm just, I don't own any Elton John's albums. I probably never will. But when Lee sings an Elton John song, I don't know what he does. It sounds wonderful. I wish he would do a parody album of, of Elton John. I would buy his over Elton John. And I'm not saying that. But he is, he is my escape from drama of all this place. He's an escape. Music for me is um, my, my escape. I love music. I love going to concerts. I love it. I love going to concerts. Um, you know, just what? Two months ago, I went to the Motley Crue, Def Leppard, Poison, Joan Jett concert. Absolutely loved it. That was my, that was my, that was my heaven. Listening to music. So Jim, whatever it is for you, whatever it is for you, Jim, 
you know what brings you peace. And don't let, any, let anybody make fun of whatever your peace is. doesn't matter. Hey, listen, if you're behind the scene, Brody, if you're a Brody, that's your peace. I know you're not a Brody, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So who I uh, – God, my flock, who was the other person that was supposed to get a card? You bought a card for her? Um, who was the other person? I'm, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Al. Oh, oh, is it angel wings? Are you the other person that's supposed to get a card? Me. Okay. Angel wings. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You want an information card? You want a guidance card? You want an inspiration card? Or do you want an activity card? You let me know. Activity, inspiration, guidance, or affirmation. Affirmation. All right. You can tell this is green. I got the green screen up. Oh, you got Luke and Leia. Luke and Leia. Here we go. Here we go, Angel Wings. Here we go, Angel Wings. I have hope. At, I can force any challenge as long as I have faith that my path is on the side of the light. I like that. I have hope. I can face any challenge as long as I have faith that my path is on the side of the light. I love that card because hope, you know, as long as you're on the right side of, of the light, even when shit happens around you, I said this before, shit's going to happen around you. But as long as you have faith and you know, like I always said, you know, at the end of the day, the good person's going to win. Even when it seems like you're a good person and, and even it seems like when life is crumbling around you, because a lot of times we're all like that, right? Sometimes you feel like life is crumbling around you. I know Anthony and I have had conversations uh, from uh, Anthony from Identify S4. Him and I would have conversations off record, you know, not, not during the show about, you know, we don't understand why channels got to do certain ways they do, but they know they do it for clicks and views, their clickbait, whatever you want to call it. But we both talk about it. It doesn't matter. You know, if you have faith, you have hope, you, if you do it the right way, you're going to win. It might not be today. might not be tomorrow. It might not even be next year or two, three years. But you got to understand if you do things the right way, at the end of the day, man, you're going to win. You will win. You just got to have hope. I have dreams. I, I would like to take this show, the cartoon, to a whole new level and all that kind of stuff. I, I get on a streaming service with my cartoon and all that. I have hope. I'm just going to do it the right way. You know, do it the right way. Just have fun doing it. And things will work out. All right. <laughs> so I hope I hope um hope that was a good card for you and I hope I uh I uh explained it good you know um absolutely absolutely good will always beat evil and it will it 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 it, it, it will and I know sometimes it just feels so damn in life that you know uh listen I, I've said the story before that me even myself I have had channels Make a hit piece because I have a th uh, I have my own opinion, my own way of thinking, and trust me, it's not fun. It's not cool when you see these channels just do a whole channel beef with you, put your name in the title, and they go after you. It's not fun. It's not. It's 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 not cool. And 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 a lot of times you want to um, you want to you know what I mean. You want to. You want to rip the throat out, you know? But you got to tell yourself, you know what? That's not the way of doing it. Just have fun. Now, don't get me wrong. You want to take a jab here and there. So, oh, my flock donated again. So, my flock for, for Al. So, Al, what card do you want, Al? Activity, inspiration, guidance, Affirmation. So, Al, you pick. All right. All right. So, Al Warrior, you pick a card. Activity, 
inspiration, guidance, affirmation. You pick the card. And my flock, thank you. <laughs> You're donating all the people's cards. That's awesome. That's awesome. And 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 and, and seriously, I you know I I always I always hate you know it's like the guilty thing like you know donate to the channel and and um you know only thing I want to say is I I said this before if if anybody donates to my channel. Um, Elena gets one too. Okay, Elena gets one too. Okay, the the money you donate to the channel does go back to the channel. That's how the cartoons get created. They're they're very expensive, and they get more expensive because they get longer and longer. So thank you, Al Warrior, guidance. Oh, Luke Skywalker. Oh boy, and Lena, you'll be next. We all have big dreams about what we want to be someday, but it takes actions to make dreams come true. Write a list of your dreams for the future. Then list the things you can do to make those dreams come true. That is, um, that card could be for a lot of people. You know what I mean? Al warrior. This is, is a good card because we all have big dreams and, and, we could all make dreams happen, you know, write down what your dream is and do whatever you can to make your dreams come true. You know, uh, and, and I'm, I'm talking about reasonable dreams. I'm not talking about like, like, like the Powerball is 2.2 billion. We know the chances of winning that is slim to none. I mean, that's a beyond. Dream. I'm talking about a dream that, you know, if you worked hard enough, you could do it, write down your dreams and never give up. Like I, I said, it, you know, it matches like any other card that don't don't expect it. Don't expect your dream to happen tomorrow, next day. You know, things take time. Whatever your dreams are, go for it. Like I said, I just mentioned that I have dreams. I, I, I love to see my cartoon all flushed out into a 30-minute show on a streaming service or something on TV. I don't know. I would love to have every episode of a cartoon that I've done and flushed out into a 30-minute show. I want it and I'm just going to do what I can. I know it's, and, and, and the thing is a uh, warrior, it might never even happen. It might not, but at least as long as I know I tried and a lot of you, you know, try, that's all you could do. At least you tried. It's better to try than not try. Right. It's better to try and not try. So Elena, what card do you want? My friend activity, inspiration, guidance, or affirmation. So, Alina, you tell me what you're reading, and I'll give it to you. And my vlog, thank you for um, supporting everybody to get cards today. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, Alina, let me know what card you want, and my friend, you got it. Let me see here. I give most things a go. Yeah, give most things a go. And I am uh, uh, Lee, such a great, great guy. Not my next episode, but but he will be uh, Lee will be coming to my cartoon in one of my later episodes that I already talked to him. About, you know, because Lee's such a great guy, and, I, and and one of my one of my uh, requirements is you just got to be a good person. I want good people to do voices, you know? And um, so, Elena, are you still there? Friend of my highway, any card, I don't mind. You know what? Nobody's picking the inspiration card. Or has they? I don't, know, I don't remember. But let's do inspiration card for Elena. Inspiration card. Oh, the original Obi-Wan Kenobi. In my experience, there is no such thing as luck. The Force guides Obi-Wan Kenobi. But, but skill, knowledge, and experience are just three things that guide you. Trust your instincts. That can be your force. So in my experience, there is no such thing as luck. Okay, now... This is a good card, and there's a lot of good. There's a lot of good things about this, and, and you know, even I can 
explain some of this. You know, I say sometimes, you know, when you go on an investigation, it is luck. Sometimes I feel like, you know, being there at the right time. But even though I say it is luck to be there at the right time, seeing a Bigfoot or uh, looking at a UFO, you still got to do it. You still got to go out and do the investigation. You know, you still got to trust yourself that you're doing things right. It is being at the right time at the right place. And you got to trust your own instincts. All because something worked for somebody else, it doesn't mean it's going to work for you. You find what works for you. Don't worry what works for other people. Okay? You find out what works for you, Alina, and go with it. Trust your instinct. Trust your force. Just feel what you feel. Because things are not just going to happen for you because they're going to happen. You, sometimes you got to force them to happen. You got to want it to happen. You got to do whatever you do. You can't always hope. Like, like, like I said, like, like the lottery. If you win, that's hoping for luck. Right there, that's luck. But we know that's one chance out of 378 million. So, so trust yourself. Trust your force and all that. So, guys, I'm getting close to um, wrapping this show up today. Um, let me let me look here for a second. I want to see if um, – let me see here. Give me one second. I'm sorry about this. I want to see if – he does. Okay. So, tomorrow uh, – let me show you. So tomorrow, uh, Identify S4 has a Wednesday show. Um, let me put that link in there. Uh, like I said, he's one of the good guys out there. He's the one of the guys that just loves. The thing about Anthony is, is is why that's the link for his show tomorrow. One of the things, you know, if he ever wants me to come on, I come on. And, and, and one of the reasons I don't mind coming on like his show, I don't mind him coming on my show because – not just because he's known as the UFO guy or all that. It's because he has passion. He loves what he does. And I've always say sometimes in life, it's it's better to be with the people that you know they have the passion, that they love what they do. That's what I care about. You know, um, Anthony could go out for the rest of the year and not catch nothing. No, no UFOs, nothing. But he has passion. He's going to go out there. He's going to work. He's going to use the force. He's going to use what you heard today. He's going to do whatever he can. And, you know, it is sometimes being at the right place, right time. But when you surround yourself with people like that, you're going to be better off in life like that. You're going to be better off. You know, you know how when parents used to say, you know, you hang out with those people, you know, you'll get yourself in trouble. No, parents know, and, and, and I know it's hard for kids to understand that when they keep hearing that, that I could, you know, dad, mom, I could trust myself. But, you know, they know that, that a lot of times, you know, you, you, you get in trouble with groups because, you know, that's the people you surround yourself with. You got to also surround yourself with good people, good, solid people, because there's going to be times in your life you're going to fall on your back. You're going to fall on your ass. And if you surround yourself with good people, they're going to put a hand out and lift you up and help you out. I truly, truly believe that. The people will help you out if you surround yourself with good people and you're honest with them. And the people you shit on, and if, you're, if you are that shitty person, you know, Eric, Lynn is next. Oh, okay. Uh, well, Lynn, Lynn, you'll be my last card because I got a... Uh, I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go pick up my daughter. So Lynn will be my last card for today, and then I want everybody to have a great rest of your day. So this is the last card of the day. Oh my god! And it's fucking hand solo, Lynn. Yeah, you got hand baby. You got hand baby. Hand solo is awesome. If you want to succeed, you have to believe in yourself. When do you feel most confident? Accept, accept yourself for who you are and know what you can do. 
anything you set your mind to. This is a perfect card to end the day with. Because if you want to succeed, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, then give up. Fuck it. Go find a grave. Dig a hole. Believing in yourself is the key to everything. Anything you want to do, believe in yourself first. And accept who you are. Accept it. Nobody's perfect. Look at me. I'm ugly. I'm not, not a handsome guy. I accept that. But I believe in myself. I believe in myself. <laughs> I'm calling myself ugly. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Believe in yourself first. Because the, the, the only true person in life you're ever going to trust first is yourself. Trust yourself. Believe what you're saying. And once you know you trust yourself, go do it. Go do it. Because first of all, if you're lying to your own self, then there's then you're you gotta give up on life. You gotta give up on life. I know, Lynn. I was just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> but Lynn, just believe in yourself. That's the first person you trust. Trust yourself. Once you trust yourself, then because once you start trusting yourself, you're gonna trust what you believe, you're going to trust on what you're learning, what you're seeing, and then everything else will fall in place. So beyond that, guys, uh, um, uh, Anthony's shows tomorrow, if he, if he lets me on, I'll jump on with him. And then beyond that, Lee's got a show, First Floor Audio. Like I said, you want to escape from everything from life being hectic, go watch, uh, go, go to Lee's channel. Just forget everything. Forget all the bad channels, all the bad things. And and uh, well, I wish you guys could hold on a second. Hold on a second. We're, we're going to go. But watch. I want you guys to see this. Before we go, watch this. Watch my dog. Watch my dog. Eliza, you want to go Want to go pick up Violet? You want to go? You want to go? Oh, you want to go pick up Violet? You want to go? You want to go? You want to go pick her up? Oh, my, my dog, my dog goes crazy. My dog knows when it's time to go pick up, pick up the daughter. So beyond that, guys, you guys have a great one. I love you all. And remember, believe in yourself because you can do it. Beyond that, have a great day. See you later.